What's going on with this Cross1625 and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the DayZ mod into Armor 2, Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead if you downloaded it from something else besides Steam such as Amazon if you hopped on the Amazon deal this will help you out on how to install DayZ mod into that client. So there's a simple tool that one of the community members made it's called uh, Warom whatever that word right there is W-O-R-R-O-M you're going to want to go to worrom.com. I'll put the link down in the in the description. And this is a Daisy updater that he made or she made, I don't know. But you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom or to the middle of the page. It's pretty much right at the top actually. It's right here. It's a Daisy updater. You're going to click on that, download it, and there's a little picture of what the program looks like. So once it's downloaded, it's going to come into a zip file. You're going to want to right click, extract. I'm going to extract here. I just dragged it off to my desktop. Now you might need to disable your firewall or your antivirus because mine, which is Norton right now, just the trial version, it tends to delete this application for some reason. But it is trusted. It's on the DayZ forums. So it's, it's trusted. Just believe me, it's trusted. Okay. So you're going to want to go to and open the file. You're going to see the DAISY updater application. You're going to go ahead and double click on that. Yes, let it run. Uh, yes, I want to let it run. All right. So then you have, this is the program right here. And you see the Armor 2 folder. If you download it from Steam, you can use this program. All you have to do is, that's it's already pre there for you. It's down, the directory is, or, directory is already there. But however, since we downloaded it off Amazon or a third party or whoever you download it from, you're going to want to delete that because that's obviously not correct and you're going to want to find where you installed where you downloaded Arma 2 which mine just happens to be the desktop I don't know why it's there I don't know if I did it or if Amazon did it I don't know but you're going to want to go ahead and click on not Arma 2 but Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead folder and in here there is an Operation Arrowhead folder right here so that's the directory you want to go to so you want to go to Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead your main Operation Arrowhead folder and then inside that there's an Operation Arrowhead folder which you're going to want to click on that and then take that directory just control C it, copy paste it up here, control V and then click on check for updates and you'll see here that it is downloading the the files, the updates that I need to download you see here it goes to all the it goes to, it goes to all the, uh, the files and the internet that needs to download it. will go through the list. It downloads it, and then once it's downloaded, it'll say it's done. You just click on the little play button. It'll launch Arma 2, and you're on your way. Now keep in mind your directory directory might be different if you installed it somewhere else. However, you just need to go to your Operation Arrowhead folder, and then go into your Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead folder. And then from there, you're going to want to go into Operation Arrowhead, and that's the directory you're going to want to copy. So just go ahead and copy that. Nice created shortcut. Just go ahead and copy that, paste it in here, check for updates, it'll go through, download all the files you need. And then once it says it's completed, just hit play and it'll launch it. Now whenever you want to play the game, just go ahead and go and up go open up this uh, this program and click play and it'll play it. And of course you can always check for updates if you need to get the updates downloaded. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you. And if it did, feel free to like it, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a nice day, guys.